the first thing I would say is I wish we were having coffee. I wish we could sit across from each other and I could hear your story. And I wish that I could wrap you up because this is rampant. There are so many people struggling with this. And I wanna say first that this is not your fault, that this isn't a lack of faith, that mental illness is real and it comes for all of us, I think in different seasons of our life. If you're someone that can avoid it all of the days of your life, I would be shocked. I think most of us are going to walk through seasons where we do feel depression, where we do feel anxiety, perhaps even to the point that, that we need counseling and perhaps medicine. And I wanna say on behalf of the whole church, you know, I can't speak for the whole church, but I do wanna say that as Christians, we haven't always been good about talking about this and, and giving tools that are needed to those that are struggling in the church with mental illness. So first, yay for even admitting it to yourself. And I pray that you will admit it to other people too. But I also wanna say that this isn't just a physical war. You know, in the fall in Genesis, you see that that when we fell, we fell body, mind, emotions, relationships, we fell in every way. And so the fact that our brains and our bodies don't work perfectly like they will in heaven is a reality all of us have to face at different points. So do not be discouraged that, that you don't have enough faith. That is not the issue and that's not what I'm saying. But there is a spiritual component to this too because there is an enemy and he wants us to be stuck in our sadness, in our fear, in our worry, whatever it is for you. He wants us to be stuck for the rest of our days. And so we have to fight it on more than just the physical front, on more than just the emotional front. We've got to fight it on the spiritual front too. And so don't be afraid to pray against the enemy, to pray against the strongholds that, that you feel stuck in, because yes, there is also a war. <laughs> and, and what a great way to knock out somebody that, that loves him and put them on the sidelines for the rest of their lives. So I would just say, don't be discouraged. You're not alone and, and fight back.